All right, so here's my marble roller coaster. Uh, it starts out up here at the top, um, does some corkscrews, it comes down around this way. It has another corkscrew, it rolls down into that. I'll show you on this side. It goes through this double corkscrew, down here, through the single corkscrew, into the funnel. When it drops down through the bottom of the funnel, it goes around, down that long side, comes back over here, and then it hits the elevator car, goes up the elevator shaft, and then the elevator car gets caught here and it dumps the marble out in this time waster. Um, after it drops down into the hole at the bottom of the time waster, it comes down this tan track around the blue corkscrew, then down this one to this corkscrew, around into that time waster, then down here, back and forth a little bit, then it goes down. It does this loop down here. It's hard for me to show. Gimbal doesn't want to turn that way. And then it, it actually jumps. So it jumps from the end of the loop into this corkscrew here and then we'll funnel around and then ends right here. Okay, give this marble a little push. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna give a quick rundown on how I built my elevator. I have, um, in the back here is where the counterweight travels down. So really it's just three tracks that were taped together, end to end to end. Uh, there's a little bit of overlap to give it some strength. The uh, counterweight will fall right down the back like this. Uh, the other side, there's three tracks also. This. The, the counterweight side is just a little bit shorter than this side, but the elevator car will travel up that elevator shaft. So let me see if I can show you how the um, elevator car looks and how it works. Okay, so here's the elevator car. And you can see that there's a, the string at the top and uh, the way that the string is positioned is important for, it, it pulls the marble straight up basically. It doesn't pull it up leaning backwards. It doesn't pull it up leaning forwards. Uh, you can see there's a little piece of tape here, right where my middle finger is there. Uh, hopefully you can see it in the video. That prevents the marble from rolling out. So it comes in with a little bit of force. It has to be able to push the elevator car backwards, but at the same time you don't want it to roll out of the front. So the counterweight, once that's set up, and it's important to get the right amount of weight in the back. Otherwise it might go up too fast, it might go, not go up fast enough to release it. That elevator car is going to come up it's going to catch on the edge of this time waster and then should dump the marble. Okay, so I'm going to drop it from right over here. Okay. And here's a better shot of the marble being released from the elevator car. So I'm going to drop it from over here. I'll put in the time waster. It's going to go around the back of the roller coaster. And it happened so fast. So the car turned on its side a little bit, but it still got the job done and released it.
my sweet comments. Turn camera. Wow. There it goes. <laughs> 